So, once you get those pieces off, um, you basically, you have that big giant back piece like I was talking about, and you take the top part off, and then I cut that hole out of the top part. So it's still there, but this is the basically the size of the wind that's left in the Laria XL trim thing, right? So it's just going to plop right on there and tie everything in and look like it was factory installed. So it's no big deal. And the piece that I cut this off of is still structurally sound, so I can install the factory radio again if I want. So basically when you pull them two things out, you got two pieces in there. There's your screen for that little chintzy Ford radio. And there's the radio. The screen is up top, and this radio is behind the climate control. Now, these are the two harnesses that you're going to use. The harnesses off this thing aren't being used right now. Um, the USB one, you're going to want to plug your USB into, so you can use that in the console. Um, I'll talk more on that later. Anyways, these are the two harnesses that the Ford FO2 kit hooks right into. Essentially, you're going to have this big harness like this this is the fo1 which doesn't work but you know there's only going to be two plugs on the fo2 that you're actually going to use and the rest of the stuff is kind of garbage not so much but don't toss it or nothing but it's not being used uh there's only certain things that are you basically have to consult your installation guide on the iDatalink website so once all that stuff's out, there's going to be three harnesses sitting there from Ford. And two of them we're going to plug into with the Ford FO2. So I'll show you guys. That harness is really good. Uh, okay, so there's my Maestro. It's just a little black box. Now there's a bunch of little cables that come off of this. Basically, those two harnesses that plug in branch out into the harness that goes into your radio and all the wires that go into this box that manage everything. So, like I said, there's two big, huge clips in here that you clip right onto. And they just won't pop out, but... You'll see them in there. There's one of them. There's one. Here's the other one right here. And there's two. So basically it's them two harnesses. <clears throat> they came out of the back of that middle one that was right behind the climate control. Now that, they fit right on them. Like, they're manufactured to go right over the top of those. So, basically, you plug those in, right? Now, you want to make sure you run your microphone. I did the microphone just like my camera. I put it up above the mirror, ran it up into the trim, all along down behind that piece. Behind that rubber thing, I told you there's a channel where you can run tons of wires. Right at the turn where there's another channel, and then it's all behind here. My GPS antenna, same thing. Ran it all right through here. So once you plug those two harnesses in, you got your GPS and your microphone pulled out, ready to go. Everything's all sitting here, ready to go. You want to take the harness off of the back of the radio, take the two harness, take the whole big wiring harness, and then bring the whole thing down next to your schematic. Cause now you're gonna do some splicing and some cold shrinking.